Hey guys, it's Aaron here. We got some awesome, exciting news today. I am giving you guys a text bubble graphics template for Adobe Premiere. I'm really excited about it. I've been working really hard on it. I wanted to do a tutorial, but I don't really have a lot of time this week because I got an anime convention I'm going to on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm preparing for that. I want to get some awesome video there so I can share it with you guys later. So I'm really pumped. Uh, forgive my voice. Uh, I think I'm getting a cold or something. It's a little crackly. I'm trying to get over it or trying to fight it. Hopefully I don't get sick, especially for this con. Uh, anyways, I don't want to keep rambling on here. Let's get to that template. Okay guys, once you downloaded the template in the description, you want to install it in Adobe Premiere Pro. In order to do this, you want to go to Graphics, Install Motion Graphic Template, and go to where you downloaded the template at, select it, and hit Open. This will install it into your Essential Graphics in Premiere. You can find this in the assembly, essential graphics, and in my case it's at the top. If it's not, you can type in A2 text and you hit enter and it will show up. You also can find this under the effects workspace and if you don't see it at all, you can go to window and just check essential graphics to make sure it's visible. Now once you uh, find it in essential graphics, you can drag it to your timeline and just drag it above your video, move a few keyframes over so the bubble is visible, select it, and then you'll have a whole bunch of options to work with. Uh, the first uh, bubble is on the left, it will always start on the left, and you can actually make adjustments to the text here on the left bubble. You can change the font type and you can change its thickness to thin, style, bold, medium, whatever the font allows that you choose. Once you make these choices you can hit this little arrow to shrink it back down and then you can work on changing the colors you can change the colors to the title uh, we'll make this one like a light green and we can do the message color we'll make it more of a darker green and we're going to make the bubble itself a uh, light green as well and once you get your color set you can change the opacity of the bubble and make it blend in more with the video you also can change the edges and make them real sharp or you can make them more beveled whatever you uh, so choose you also can hide the bubble tail if you don't want it for whatever reason if you don't want to have the title all you need to do there is just delete them in the uh, text fields and they won't show up so you have a lot of options there now once you get your right bubble done uh, you can make another bubble there's a few ways you can do this you can either go to browse and drag another one to your timeline you also can press alt click and, and I'm going to do that in the case here to show you uh, what you can do here and the reason why you'd want to do that is when you move the bubbles up which you can double click on and drag it up you can see that it keeps the uh, same color theme so you can just change the text for the left bubble and then you can you have a conversation so that's nice you also can be more precise with movement by going to edit and then choosing uh, the layer that you need to and then do the effects control and you can actually tweak the position and the height and scale and all that from here as well we're going to go back to assembly for now uh, so we have more workspace and what I want to do now is we want to change this bubble to a right bubble and what we want to do is go back to our edit under essential graphics go to bubble direction and move it the slider to the, from the left to the right and it will switch it to the a right bubble as you can tell it still keeps the uh, color and that's fine because we can make changes here as a separate bubble so we're going to change the colors here to more of a pinkish theme so we're going to do a pink for that we're going to change the bubble color to like a light pink and we'll make the color of the font more of a darkish purple and there that is now 
to change the text of this bubble, you want to do the right bubble text this time. And we're going to actually make changes here. So we're going to make this Lisa. We'll leave the time alone. And we're going to change the font to the message itself. And we're going to make it Christina, which is a little scripted font here. And there you go with the bubbles. It's that simple to, to tweak them. Now all we gotta do is position them where we want to. So we're gonna put this one about right here and we're gonna take the green one and we're gonna move it. Pass that a little bit, we'll offset the pink one because I don't want the green one to go off screen here. <laughs> and it looks something like that. We wanna offset the spacing so they don't both pop up at the same time. So we're just gonna move this bubble over slightly to the right. And we should have a little cool transition here. And that's as simple as it is. You can do so much with this. Now I'm gonna give you a bonus here, a little effect in After Effects or Adobe Premiere here. It's really cool is you can select multiple layers and you can right click on them and you can nest them. And the reason why I'm gonna do this here, you'll see in a second. So we're gonna do text bubble for the name of this. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do text bubbles. The reason why I'm going to do it in my case is I'm going to go under editing because I want to do the moving up as the text bubble comes into place. So what I want to do first is I want to get to where both bubbles appear. Go to, uh, click on the layer, go to effects under editing, and I'm going to move this down to where the first bubble will pop up, about right there. Now I want to go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to click on the stopwatch data keyframe and I'm going to move forward until... I see the other bubble pop up. And there it is. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna click on the keyframe to add another one. I'm gonna go forward more and then I'm going to scale it up to about where the first one would be. So we are there. I'm gonna move this little adjustment down here, this little line, so I can be more precise and line these up better. Because I know they're off because it's gonna move as it's coming up and that's why I don't, I don't want it to do that. I want it to come up first, then the bubble pop up. So I'm gonna go about right here and I'm gonna move this first one back and then we'll click on the second one here and then move it back a little bit too. You don't want them to be too close but touching is fine because you don't want them, you want it to be a really quick transition. And then all you gotta do is play it and it should work just like my intro. Boom. Boom. And there you go. It's that simple. Anyways, there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do and you like what you're seeing on my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell to be notified of future video updates. If you guys have any suggestions for tutorials or anything that you want me to make and do, hit me up with those comments below and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.